for this project I am using this jar and it is in fact this one here so the Doa Egberts um, it's um, I think a 200 gram glass jar and obviously you can get it in any shop basically I got mine at the Corp there's I'm sure they've got them in Tesco Sainsbury's all the other shops as well so this is a way for you obviously to have the exact same jar so you can follow the exact same pattern so let's get started so for this pattern, I have used the Sirdar Simply Recycled. It's a double knitting um, cotton and acrylic combination, and it's for a four millimeter crochet hook. Now, even though it's a four millimeter, I personally um, need to use a three because I crochet quite loosely. I've got my three millimeter here. You'll also need scissors and uh, darning needles, but that's for at the end, of course. So here I have a ball that's been started. So let's get started. I'm going to start with a magic circle. You can do a chain of four, um, but make sure you can pull it really tight so it's nice and closed. So uh, magic circle, I do a cross like this over my fingers then I go under and over I pull that through and I do a chain like so and I'm going to do, need three or two chains I do two chains for a double crochet so depending on how many you do you do that amount and now we are going to do 12 double crochets in the circle so that means we do another 11 because that chain counts as a double crochet so I will see you at the end of your 12 double crochets Okay, so I've got my 12 double crochets. I am now going to close up the circle and I am going to slip stitch into the top of that chain that we did earlier. There we go. And I am making a little circle there. Then we are going to do two double crochets in every stitch around. And let me just show you. I start with my chains and I consider that as the last double crochet of my round because it is in this stitch here. And then I start my first double crochet into the first stitch and I'm going to do a second one in there as well. And so we're going to go around all the way doing two double crochets in every stitch and I will see you at the end of the round so I've come to that last stitch of the round and of course I do a double crochet in here and then that second one is our chain from before and then we do a slip stitch in there, making it a nice little circle here. So we are now going to do another row of increase. And this time we are doing one, two, one, two. So that means we do our chain two to go up or chain three if that's what you need. But again, this is the last stitch of my round. So I'm going to do one double crochet in the next stitch two double crochets in the next stitch two and then one in the next stitch so we started with 12 double crochets we have 24 here and then this row we should have 36 so i'm going to continue with two one two one Okay, so that's the ratio. There we go, and one in here. And you continue like that until the end of the row. Two in here. 
and one in the next one. So I have gone round the circle with a ratio of two, one, two, one. And then of course here I've got that chain which counts as a as a double crochet and then in here I do the other double crochet because I need to do two in that stitch because that's where we are at in our ratio. So that all worked out really well. So now the next row we are going to do is we are going to do one, one, two. So again our two chains up or three chains if you need them. So one in the next stitch one in the next stitch and in the next stitch we do two so that is the ratio this time so one double crochet one double crochet and two double crochets and that's how you go around this time see you at the end so we've come to the end of our round again and I've just done the two here, one, one and then of course here we have that chain which is our second one and then this one is our first one of our two and then we are going to slip stitch into there to close up our circle. And this time we are going to do three, one, one, one and then a two, right? So let's get going. One, two chain. So that's the last one of my row. So I've done my two chains up and this time we are going to do a ratio of one, one, one and then two. So three times just the one double crochet in the stitch and then we do the two together this one obviously we keep that as the last one of our row so I will see you at the end when you're doing one double crochet one double crochet one and then two So I've come to the end of my round, I've done the two here, then one, 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 and then here I've got my chain and I've got to put the last two, so the last double crochet where it has to be a two in with that same stitch as where the chain was. There we go. Okay, so if I counted correctly, I should have 60 stitches all the way around. Now we're going to make our way up our uh, side of our jar and in my pattern repeat I need a multiple of five stitches so this is perfect 60 is a multiple of five so we are going to do a chain up so I chain two you might need to chain three and then we are going to do double crochets in the back loop of our stitch and you are doing just one double crochet in every stitch around. And this should bring us to, you know, sort of going up the sides. So I've made it to the end of the row. I just have to do my last one here. Then I slip stitch into my chain from before. There we go. And so this should now if you have <coughs> a try this should now fit nicely not too loosely either so you need to just pull it slightly to put it on okay so that should fit nicely round your jar there okay and we have a nice flat bottom on the jar so that makes it nice for us for this crocheted uh, cover as well see so and it already fits so that's good news okay so on to our pattern repeat 
So, like I said, we need a multiple of five stitches and we have 60, so that's perfect. Okay, so we are ready to start our pattern repeat and we are going to do two chains or three if you need to. Then you are going to go into the next stitch because obviously we can't, we are there. So this is my, this is, you have to think of that this is in that stitch, okay? So this is our first, this is our beginning shell really. Then we do a chain, so two double crochets, a chain and another two double crochets in that same stitch. Okay, then we skip four stitches. So one, two, three, four, and in the fifth one, we are going to do a double crochet, a double crochet, a chain, and a double crochet, and another double crochet. So that's where we're at. So the same thing again, one, two, three, four, skip. And in the fifth stitch, you do a double crochet, a double crochet, a chain, and two more double crochets. And again, same thing, skip four in the fifth one, Yes, I've got the sun coming in now. Just now it was raining. And of course, the sun is playing with my lighting. A chain and two double crochet. So that's what we do in between, uh, in every fifth stitch basically. So one, two, three, four, skip fifth one there and you do two double crochets a chain and two double crochets and you work your way around until you get to the end of the row so I've come to the end of my row and one two three and we pretend that this stitch here is in that one so we've got our four empty ones and we are going to just do a slip stitch there okay so this is our first row of our pattern and I just even though this will fit around the same jar I just like to keep on trying it on see <laughs> see what it's like after, after every row I try it on oh well right there we go see so yes it fits nicely around our jar look at that so we need 10 rows of these okay so what we are going to do next is we go and we travel to where we need to be so we're going to do a slip stitch Oh, I lost my stitch then to the next stitch there and another one into that chain one space so here we are in the place where we need to be so two chains or three if you need to and then another double crochet a chain and two double crochets so basically in every chain space that we made in the previous round we are going to do two double crochets and two then a chain and another two double crochets so we are now just using the chain space to put our next chains in uh, double crochets in and this one here will rectify itself once we finish and close up our round so this is how you're going to continue so you're going to go round you do the slip stitch to close the round and then you do two slip stitches to get to that chain space and you start again and you keep going until you have 10 of these rows so this is my second one and I will see you when you have 10 rows
Right, so I have done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rows. And as you can see, now the jar goes in. So we need to do another row where it's smaller. Uh, so it takes uh, this um, sort of, you know, dent into account. Now, <clears throat> when you clean the jar, I took the paper off and this little bit of sticky uh, stayed on there. And I think, well, let's leave it on because that's going to help keep the the, the cover on as well. So don't worry about these things because then you're not going to see them through your, um, you know, through the cover that we're making. So we're doing another row. So we need to do our slip stitches. And that's always easier said than done, of course. So just the two slip stitches there and into there. So we're in our position. And this time... So two chains or three if you need to. This time we are going to do our four double crochets into the chain space from in the, of the row below. But we're not doing a chain in between the two double crochets. Okay, so we're just going to do the four double crochets. Now in the meantime, before it got too high, I sewn in the end so that's gone so we're now doing four that's three double crochets there we go into each shell into each chain space but we are going to have to put it on our jar before we finish the last ones because otherwise we're not going to be able to get it on again right i'll see you at the end of the row so I have done the last row without the chain. Uh, I've not done that up just yet. So I'm going to put my jar in. Because obviously this last row will be smaller. So we need a little bit of space there. And there we go. So that fits nicely. <coughs> I don't mind that you can still see this bit here. I, it's, I, I quite like it. So let's put our hook back in. And let's do the slip stitch into there. Pull it through. Yeah, I'm trying to get... Ah, oh, yeah, that's, that works. Lying it down works. So pull it tight and pull that tight as well. So there we go. So that now obviously goes in to hug the curve of the jar, but also it will sort of prevent it from going down. And now you... You cut it off and you pull it through and then you're just going to have to try and get rid of the end by sewing it in sort of <laughs> as best you can against the, the glass. So I just go in here and just try to go at the back of the stitches or picking something up at least. There we go. Now, should your um, c jar cover be not tight enough, you can always give it a little tug here, but it's fine. There we go. And another bit there. Just do a little... There we go. And I'm going to cut that off and then just hide it towards the back. there we go and that is our jar cover finished so i will put some pictures after this with the tea lights in it and uh with sort of you know subdued lighting i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you very much for watching and please subscribe see you next time bye